What is up addicts? Welcome to another episode of Addicted Life. Before we get too crazy into this, make sure you guys tap that subscribe button, please. Every single Sunday we put out one of these episodes and this week we're going back to my roots. This is my buddy Joey. I kind of grew up fishing with this guy. No, I didn't kind of. I did grow you up did fishing grow with up this fishing guy. With me. This is one of my best friends growing <laughs> up. Actually, tell these people how we first met. Dude, I don't remember how we first met. I do. I, I can tell these people right, and they're going to think it's nerdy as hell. Oh. We met playing magic cards yep. in seventh grade in middle school. We used to play magic cards. Actually, I used to flip magic cards is what I used to do. I used to buy and sell them and trade them and, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. But that's how we met. We grew up kind of fishing all these lakes down here at the coast and we're at one of our favorite ones today. I'm not going to tell you the name, but it's an awesome lake and we're going to hopefully catch some largemouth. <clears throat> so stay tuned. Enjoy this episode and we'll check back in in a little bit. This is the ticket today. Uh oh, are you gonna get one on that thing, dude? Are you are you gonna use? There's no way that line's gonna work. That a bass is gonna is gonna freaking break that line so quick. Nah. Snap. Nah. Soon as you set the hook. All right, everyone. We're doing a couple different challenges today. Cody is gonna try to land one on this freaking jank fifteen dollar special here. Isn't Tele this thing telescoping? Oh yeah, we already, f I flicked it out dude. Oh man, the telescoping freaking. With a dollar, with a one dollar We're gonna call it bait. the mango. What, what color is that? I don't even mustard. know. Mustard. Mustard, the mustard, <laughs> mustard rod. The telescoping mustard rod. And Mike Ooh. is gonna oh, fish dude, it... swim baits. <laughs> Mike has been trying to get a fish on swim baits all season, right? I'm gonna fish a, a swim bait that costs more than his entire setup. How much is that? This one, these are like $27. The one that I might fish later is eight, like 80. Why don't you just fish that one right yeah, out the bait? I just want to it's throw got this two out huge chow hooks hanging on it, and if we're gonna be around wood, I don't know. All you people out there watching, if you didn't know who, I, some of you guys, I always forget a lot of you guys might not know who these people are. So this is Cody, Cody Lindbergh, we got Mike Kaplan, and we got Joey Krabelski. I'm Marlon Lefevre. Let's get to fishing. Get that away from me. Hey, this is what happens when you leave pizza in your boat. Mike. How much do you like pizza, dude? Not that much, dude. I can't do it. Who wants a piece of this freaking little oh Caesars? My God. That looks so tasty. Sean, you want some? Dude, Mike, come, Mike, Mike. I will give you fifty dollars if you take a giant bite of one of this. Dude, if it was, dude, payday is like tomorrow, so I don't even really need it. <laughs> I think you might die if you eat that. If it was like middle of the month and I was struggling. That's foul, dude. It's been a month and I'm struggling. I'm drop it it's alright, it's just glass. Now, this is how you bass fish right here out of a 22 foot Umqua Marine sled. You freaking load this thing in. This is how real bass fishermen do it. They pile in with like five or six dudes and they just catch as many as possible. That's what we're about to do. Well, I wonder if we shouldn't go up into the wind. That's what I do. We can like, we can like coast down this. Just drift it. Water, it's all like muddy colored. It's perfect, dude. What's the water temperature say on the hummingbird? 56. 56? That's like pre spawn temp, right? Dude, this right here is what's going to get them. Look at this. What do you guys out there think? Is it going to be what's going to catch the first fish? The booyah, tuck and tail spinner bait? Black and blue chatterbait? Black and blue chatterbait. Mike's got a, or Cody also has a booyah spinnerbait on. What are you fishing, Cody, or Joey? Spinnerbait? We're all in. Yeah, 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 we're
we're all using spinner baits for the most part. So everyone out there watching right now, typically this time of year, we're in like a pre-spawn period. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just searching for these bass. We're just gonna be basically casting searching baits most of the day, just looking for the bass that are cruising the shores, getting ready to spawn here soon. So hopefully we can run into some. If we don't catch something before that point of grass right there, I'm gonna start getting worried, Joey. <laughs> Tricked our camera, man. Got gotcha, you, Sean. I don't believe any any time Marlon says he's got a fish until I physically see it. The fake hook set. Well, even fighting fake fish. He'll snap Not until I wood. see a flash of a fish do I believe Marlon has a fish on. Fish? Yep. Yep. Oh, little guy, nice. Mike breaks the freaking. On the turbo. Yep. yep. Mike breaks the freaking cursey curse that we got going on here. The stank. The stank's off the boat. The little guys are liking the square bill. I'm searching for big fish. I don't like little guys. I want four pounders or bigger. That guy probably caught 16 that time. Still just 56.3. No, it's the same pretty much. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Little guy, hey? Literally just crushed it instantly. Just a little guy. Giant, look at that thing, huge, huge. See you later, little dude. It's so funny how those little tiny fish can hit so like hard and almost appear like they're giant. How many of you out there watching like just get so excited just for the fact that you get a bite and then you're like, oh, and then you instantly, you think it's big, but then it's not, it's little. I feel like that happens more often than not. Yeah, got one little guy. Cody on the board. Joey's the last one. The frick, Joey. Can't even catch a six inch or bud. All right, guys. Well, we thought that this side of the lake would be a little warmer, but it's actually like two degrees colder. So I think we're going to head to the other side and try to find some fish. We've only got a couple. Three of us caught some fish and uh, nothing big yet. So we're going to keep trying. We'll see you guys in a little bit. How deep are we in now? Three feet? Two, six, three, four, three, three. Woo! Call me Bell Dance! Oh no! Took out his eye. I feel bad. Sorry, little man. He's got another one for a reason. He'll do all right still. That's the thing. Those little ones are chewing. The big ones are chewing. You just gotta find them. Fish. Little guy. On the crack and craw. It's another little guy. Come on. Where's the big one? This is perfect, dude. This is why you don't do sh super late at night. Did you put your freaking line over the look top at, of the freaking? Look. Yep. <laughs> that is why this thing is not casting right. Freaking epic. Professional bass angler here. You guys out there can just call me Bell Dance. All right, let's see if this thing casts a little better now. Now that it's actually got its, uh... oh yeah, smooth as butter, smooth as butter. You know, when you're out there guys and you're fishing, it's really, really important that you put your line through this little hole right here on the reel. This is called a bait caster. And when you put your line through this little hole, it helps guide it. I am an idiot and didn't do that. So make sure you do that out there, folks. Dude, we'll find them. It could seriously be that the other end of the lake's way warmer, so all the fish are at the other end of the lake. Like, we just gotta find them. This is, we did this lot when we came here in June too. We had a hard time finding them, but then once we freaking found them, we hooked twenty. We just gotta find them, dude. The Kong is perfect as like a platform. Yeah, 
freaking dial, dude. All right, switching my spinner bait color. Time for something new. Ooh, that one looks pretty good. I think. That's the one. That's the one. I know why we're not catching anything. I know why we just figured it out, Billy. We need some sauce on there. This is gonna do it right here. The super sauce. Just a little dibbity dab here. How many of you out bass fishermen out there believe in scent? Do you think scent makes a difference? I've always kind of been one of those guys that honestly hasn't really believed in it. Like I just, I felt like bass are kind of an aggression fish and they don't really feed off scent. But recently I've had a lot of people tell me that scent does make a difference, so I've been trying it. What do you guys think? Comment below, let us know. And while you're at it, tap the little subscribe button. Tap subscribe, thanks for joining in guys. Hopefully we can actually catch some damn fish. This is pretty sad. Good one. Fish? Oh, you do got a fish. Oh, it's a decent one. Yeah, get the net. Let me get the net. Let me get the net. Oh, jeez. Don't lose it, Gilly. Ah, oh, what the hell? Dude, he's chunk. Dude, we needed the net. <laughs> get the put scale. Hey, get, get the mustache. Hey, Gilly, put him back in the water. Let me net him. Get let the me... mustache scale. Drop him in, dude. He's good. All right, let me get him. Ready? Get the slow-mo, Sean. Got one, guys! Yeah! That's a freaking giant. <laughs> let's put that thing on the mustache scale. Wait, dude. I'm Everyone, good. let's guess. What do you think that thing weighs, Mike? Two. Seriously, though, guys, I am really excited that we finally got one that's not six inches. What's your guess? Hold him. One pound, 13 ounces. Mike? One pound. Shh. Joey? I'll go one, five ounces. I'm gonna go one pound, three ounces. One pound, three. Moment of truth, must add scale time. Make sure you want, when you do this, you wanna be careful. You don't wanna get in on their gills. One pound, 12 ounces. Cody, what'd you guess? One, 13. Woo, you were close, dude. Didn't even have to hold it. There he is, dude. Look at his back, right? In all his freaking glory. Look at that. That's what we drove here last night for. Stayed the night and everything. Look at that. More of these to come. See you later, little man. Now it's game time. Joey restored the faith. Come on, where's your daddy? Where's your mommy? Trophy. What is that? Trout? Oh, no. Is it a trout? trout. It's a freaking big trout. Oh, All dude. right, who wants to eat a trout? Pull it up. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. That's like a oh big nice trout. That's a big trout. We're keeping it. Well, yeah, you can get it. Let's throw them in the kill box. Get that up. That's a better fish. Nicer fish? I think so. It's a little bit bigger than the last one. Nice. There's a chunky little. It still doesn't look like it. It's fat. You want to weigh it? Yeah, let's weigh it and see what it is. One pound, 15 ounces, so basically two pounds. Yeah. What's going on guys? A little midday update here. It's been tough. Caught a couple. Um, they've all been on uh, spinnerbait. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I haven't been using my swim bait like I thought I was gonna. Well, it's tough. it makes it tough to have confidence in it, right? When you're not I mean, we're struggling. Yeah. We're, we thought this was going to be a lot different than what it turned out to be, and we're struggling to find them and figure out what they want. We've been trying everything. We've tried slowing it down. We've tried jigs. We've tried spinner baits. We've tried crank baits. We've fished all sorts of different depths. These fish just don't seem to want to play very well today. So 
I could see why it'd be discouraging to try to throw a freaking swim bait in those conditions. Maybe the sun coming out and freaking being a little bit warming the water up a little bit, it'll turn them on. I don't know. The other option is we could go try another lake. There's a few other lakes down here, so let's just keep trying and see what happens and we'll go from there. Stay tuned, guys, and don't forget, tap that subscribe button down here in the corner, please. Every single Sunday, we put out an episode of these Addicted Lifes and it is real life just like you're seeing right now. Sometimes it's a grind, sometimes it's insane fishing, and that's just the that's just how fishing is, and that's why it's called fishing and not catching. So today's one of those days we're grinding, we're trying to figure them out. Wish us luck and tap that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in, guys and gals. Yeah, that's a nice one. On the spinnerbait? Yeah. Nice one? Yeah. Get him in here. Get him in here, boy. Put that thing on the scale. Pick him up. Another like two pounder. It's a little nicer. Upgrade for me. All right, let's get a release. <laughs> oh, oh. That was a fish. For sure, there's a fish in there. They're turning on. Got him going in there. No, I'll get him. Oh, that's a little bit nice one. Oh yeah, he's a chunker. That's a fatty dude here. That's a four pounder at least. Yeah. Biggest one of the day so far. All right, what's everyone think? He, this is how you can tell when you're using what a fish wants. He throated that bait. Oh, look at the belly. That's pre-spawn right there. Look at that. Just full of eggs. I'm saying three pounds, 14, or three pounds, 11 ounces. I'm gonna say it's at least a four pounder. Four. Set. Say. Four, four and a half. Wow. Four, six. Nice, Joey. There it is. Let's get another one. Oh, I saw that. Dude. Nice. At the freaking that was boat. Woo! We're on them now, boys. Sweat, dude. It might. It seriously might have been what Joey said. Just slowing down that little bit smaller bait, slowing it down a little bit. That's another. That's another four pounder, I bet. Oh, look at that, guys. That's probably four pounder, I bet. There's his pooper, his egg shooter. <laughs> look, see the mouth. Freaking pick that thing up. Heck yeah, man. Crazy what a little bit of water temperature will do. It's 58 now. This this was all two degrees warmer. This was all 56 this morning and now it's 58 and just that two degree change has got these fish eating. Another fish. Yeah. Little okay. guy. What'd you tell her, Mike? <laughs> That's what a male should be like. You know, I feel like Joey, we should do a quick like run up and blow it back down again through all that shit. Dude, I think the spot lock is like seriously helping out because we're able to like hold in the wind instead of just power drifting it. Was that a fish? As soon as it landed, there was a V came out from under that stick and just tagged it. Look at that, a stick and a lily. Quick release. Let him go. See you later, buddy. Nice one, Mike. What do you got? Cap was on. What do you got, Cap G? 
Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. oh, get the net! Get, get the, the net! Get the net! I got it, I got it. Hurry up! That's a nice one. He did not know he was hooked until he got right there. Keep him on, dude. That's a nice one, guys. We got a nice fish on him. Get him! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah, Kaplan! Dude! Oh, dude! Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. <laughs> nice fish, Where's Mike. Dude, that's just so right out. Where'd, where'd the scale go, guys? Woo! I'm gonna say four and a half. Yep. What is it? Four, four pounds, 14 feet. ounces. Four, 14. I said, so he's pretty much five. Oh, what a beast. That's nice. nice. Fish, Mike. Pretty much a five pounder. Yep. Practice catch and release on these fat Dude. mamas, everyone. Oh, this is so awesome. Dude, that's sick. Oh, another fish. Little guy. Oh, that one's at least six <laughs> <laughs> inches. Damn, we're on it, dude. We're freaking on them now. Afternoon bites, fire. You know what is so funny? <laughs> you, did you guys see how he was like, thought, he thought it was small. Yeah. And was then like, the yeah. fish got right to the boat and realized it was hooked. And, and his mouth was nuts. like. You can tell these big fish, cause like they don't come up. Yeah. If they don't come up to break water, then it's a bigger fish. Nice, five pounder, I like it. Yeah, in hey, the blade, sorry. Now I can have an Oreo. You said if I catch a five pounder, I can have an Oreo. Oh, that's right, <laughs> holy crap. Dude, that's so true. Earlier in, earlier in the day, guys, I told Mike, I'm like, if you catch a five pounder, Mike, I'll let you have one of my Oreos. So you gotta reward it. Get Oreo. yourself a couple Oreos. Marlon said if I catch a five pounder, I can have one of his Oreos. All right, everyone, we got Kaplan peeing in here in the background and we forgot to do an update. We pulled off the lake, we ended it with a bang. Mike actually got his personal best bass, five pounds on the dot, super stoked. Spinnerbait has been the ticket. This looks like a game warden right oh, here. Oh, hopefully it's open. Ah! Uh, anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate it, guys. And uh, tap that subscribe button. Now we're gonna go drop this in another lake and see what we can do. All right, should we go try to launch in another lake or what? I think we should do it. The game warden, we just got checked by the gameies. They were super nice. I didn't ask them if we could film them. Typically they don't want to be filmed, so I just didn't even ask, but they checked us. They checked, what they say about your trout? Uh, they only stock like a thousand in this lake. Why do so, you want to see it? Because if I kept it, he wants to see my license. So he checked my license. Oh, is there a size limit? I don't know. I don't oh, think so. Okay. I think it's just if you're keeping something and they want to make Dude, sure. Dude, look at who back, who, who is one of the OGs and remembers that shirt Joey's wearing? Dude. Turn around, dude. That thing is you, from back in the Do you even day. have any of those anymore? No. I don't either. That's like retro, dude. That's like one of the original addicted shirts. I guess I'll have a hat with that. Dude, let's right. bring them back. We should. We, who, who out there thinks we should do a, bring a retro edition of the addicted shirt back? Call below if you we're think gonna we should bring do back that. Soon too. All right, let's go try to fish another lake, dude. Thanks for coming, Joey. Yep. It's always fun to. I gotta get home. Yeah, get home your wifey. See you guys later, dude. This is our boat launch today. So I think if we go right here, we'll be fine. You just gotta make sure I don't go off that. Hey, even that's There's not a huge bad. Rock right there, just so you know. All right, here we are, Lake Number Two. This launch, uh, let's just say, isn't ideal, but uh, we're gonna try to make it work here with our 22-foot umqua. The game warden looked at us like we were idiots. Yeah, we were like, we're gonna go launch in this other lake. We told him the name of it. He's like, what? With the one with the really small turnaround. He's like, you're putting that boat in there. And we we're like, yeah. He's like, good luck. <laughs> Go slow. Keep going. All right, we were successful. We got the boat launched. Got some good news. The water temperature is 61.5. So these suckers should be chewing. So hopefully we can find some bass. Wish us luck. Lake number two, here we go. Yep. Nice. First fish on the second 
Hey! Way to go, Cody! Mike, you want to help flip it? I'll run the motor? Yep. Or net it or do whatever. How big is it? Yeah. A little fatty. Yeah, it's big, right? Just lift them up. Bigger than anything I got on the other lake. That's true. Lake number two. These, what I love about these fish in this lake, show, go, go, go get in close and look at that bass. Look at all the, the color details. difference. These are yellow. Yeah. The color difference in this lake is super cool. I've always loved that about these fish in here. They're just yellow. They have like a really cool look to them. Yeah, they're like golden on the bottom. Yeah, Joking, guys. Buzz bait time, Mike. Going, I'm going full send mode, dude. Full freaking send mode. It's too shallow over here, dude. Remember, we found that out last time we were here, Mike. Didn't we fish just? Yeah, that it's just way deeper over there, and it, then around the island. But remember, we got most of the fish from around the island into those other lily pads. Yeah. Where he got his fish, there was that kind of wind break right there, and it was the, that was the grass line. And it, his fish was right on that grass line. Oh, yeah! Right in that weed line, dude. Oh! Nice. Not a bad one? No. Fish number two for lake number two. Yeah. Gorgeous. That's a fish. Mustard rod fish. Double. 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 We got one on the mustard rod. Oh, geez. Am I a bigger fish? Yeah, mine. I'm up. I can't flip it. Even if yours is bigger, mine's way more important because it was on the freaking mustard rod. It's fine. Right there. $15 special. And a dollar spinnerbait. Yeah, yeah, that's brother. awesome. Double. Double. I thought it was on his line. I was like, what's Pretty going on? Fish. It's a fish. That's Good. like the average size here. They're yeah. All like that. Nice. Spinnerbait, man. <sighs> Well, I accomplished my goal, Mike. He did. This rod, it, it felt like it was in a break the whole time. <laughs> it felt huge. Well, this uh, rod felt like it was in a break. Mr. Four Pound Line over here is reefing on Mustard rod strikes again. What do we got? Oh, not a bad one. You got to land him yourself or else it doesn't count. <clears throat> oh, that's not a bad one. About the same size, isn't it? Yeah. They've all been damn near this size. What is that? Fish number four on lake number two? Yep. See you later, buddy. Good job. All right, addicts. We're wrapping up the day here. The sun's going down. Pulled the boat out. It's been a freaking blast of a day. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks so much. We are making these episodes for all you addicts out there. And Cody got a couple fish on the old mustard rod. So yeah. hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Let us know if you want to see more bass fishing. We love bass fishing. It's one of our favorite things to do. So comment below. Let us know if you want to see more bass fishing. Mike, you failed on your swim bait challenge. I did. I didn't even do it. It's, didn't even it's do it. tougher than I thought. I mean, it's mean windy. Mike doesn't get dinner, right? Nope, no dinner for you. That's fine, I'll just go to McDonald's. We're having, pe we're having pizza. pizza. Place? Is there a good pizza place around here? All right, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, we're giving you an opportunity to win an Addicted prize pack from our website, addicted.fishing, where you can get these bass hats if you're a fan of them. All you gotta do is give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was or what you hated about the episode. We don't care, just drop a comment below because that's where we're gonna pick a winner from. Share this out there, and last but not least, tap this little subscribe button right here. Give Mike's belly a little tap tap. <laughs> 
tap this subscribe button, please. We really, really are trying to get our subscriber base up. We love making these things for you. And the more subscribers we have, the better. So thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you next week, every single Sunday.